Hello friends, this is Durga from IT Varsity. Uh, so today we are announcing uh, the revised version of CCS Spark and Hadoop Developer. Uh, it is one of the leading certifications in big data domain. Uh, it, it, is start, uh, it is started in January 2016 and um, at IT Varsity we have the history of hundreds clearing the certification following our content in the older format. But recently there are some changes in the certification and uh, hence we are recreating the content for the certification. And here is the syllabus uh, for the certification. Um, from the scoop perspective, there is no uh, di uh, difference between the older one and newer one. Um, for they have introduced Kafka um, and uh, um, HDFS commands. You should have complete control on them. Uh, even though there might not be any direct questions in the certification exam, having a good understanding of HDFS commands can help you quite a bit uh, while giving the test. And then, uh, uh, as per transform stage and store, it's purely core Spark API, um, such as reading, writing data uh, using different file formats, joins, aggregations, uh, as well as sorting and ranking. And also, uh, the major difference between the older uh, curriculum and the newer curriculum is uh, this data analysis, uh, in which you need to understand data frames, Spark SQL. And for these things, you have to explore Hive. You don't need to be a master in Hive. You don't need to have a deep understanding about Hive partitioning and all those things. But at least you should know basic Hive uh, DDL commands, DML commands, and SQL. Uh, SQL is foundation for Hive, Spark SQL, and many other um, um, SQL type of interfaces when it comes to big data ecosystem. And then you should also know how to uh, uh, influence the spark job by exploring different uh, command line options um, we, we will cover that as well as part of uh, uh, we need to cover that as well as part of the preparation uh, so this is the syllabus and uh, even though the syllabus starts with the scoop then hdfs commands then uh, spark the way i will go by um, uh, create as part of this course will be first we will try to get started we will see the overview about all the different components uh, briefly and then we will get go to scala where there won't be any mentioning about uh, spark uh, uh, purely on scala and then we will explore hdfs commands then we will get into core spark uh, and then hive databases then we will talk about data frames and spark sql different file formats in spark uh, apache scoop uh, then we will see streaming using Flume and Kafka and then we will also explore a few tips and we will conclude the course. So this is the course and these are the lessons and each lesson will have to uh, topics um, under, under it. Okay. And now uh, going to prerequisites for, uh, for the certification, you need to have basic programming skills. Without programming skills, it's, it will be very, very tough to understand and to prepare for the certification and then you need to have a laptop of 4 gb uh, configuration when i say 4 gb it's uh, about memory ram uh, with 64 bit operating system on it uh, it could be windows it could be linux or mac os and either you have to sign up for labs.itversity.com to prepare for the certification or you need to set up cloud quick start vm uh, which requires 16 gb ram so the previous statement of laptop of 4GB configuration is good enough if you want to use cloud-based labs such as labs.itversity.com. If you want to uh, set up uh, your own environment, you need to at least have 16GB RAM on your PC with i7 quad core and then you can actually set up something called Cloudera Quick Start VM and then you can take it from there. Uh, for most part of this uh, uh, course, I will be emphasizing a lot on labs.itversity.com but you can uh, uh, use these things as part of your uh, virtual machine also um, and uh, you, uh, we, we will support you if you run into any issues because of uh, the minute differences between exploring using lab versus exploring using uh, um, the Cloudera Quick Start VM. Why get certified? To prove your skills where it matters. Um, available anytime, anywhere. Um, so you can actually take the certification from anywhere. You don't need to worry it to be uh, uh, to go to Prometric Center and give the certification. 
you can promote your achievement you will be, receive a logo for business cards and resumes and you can display those things on linkedin profiles as well you can verify your achievement means if someone uh, want to confirm whether you are certified or not and the companies can actually uh, check uh, with uh, cloudera directly uh, and uh, you will be up to date if you uh, if you get certified uh, in the industry exam format will be um, subjective there will be 10 to 12 performance based questions which will be distributed across the topics um, and they will provide you a cluster a, a full blown cluster and you have to uh, uh, give the exam on the cluster we'll talk more about uh, it in detail when we talk about tips and conclusion as part of the last uh, lesson as part of this course time limit 120 minutes passing score is 70% and um, uh, as of now it is primarily given in english uh, price is around 300 dollars and if you need more details about the certification you just click on this link and it will take you to the cc official page and uh, you can start um, exploring faqs and all those things i will uh, uh, i will get on to these things and explain in detail uh, to towards the end of the course what all will be available as part of the tips and conclusion i will try to cover everything that being said um uh, thank you very much and i hope you will enjoy the course and uh, it will help you in preparing for the certification as i have mentioned to you earlier in the older format um following my course hundreds of people have cleared the certification mostly with uh, 80% or 90% um, and uh, uh, i hope uh, we will repeat the same uh, as part of this new course as well that being said thank you bye